everyone, it's Hayley. It's been a really, really long time since I updated. I think it was nearly a year ago. Um, somebody asked me only yesterday, um, why haven't you made any more videos? I don't even know the answer to that question. It's just time has completely run away with me and um, I'm going to turn that on silent. Time has completely run away with me, um, just life, um, I don't like to say life got in the way because I kind of wanted YouTube to be kind of part of just everyday life, um, but yeah, it, <laughs> it just, I don't know, the last time I updated you was just a short clip uh, when my husband's grandmother passed away, she was a really um important person in his life he was extremely close to her so um that took me out of a lot of things for a little while um and then i guess youtube is just one of the things that i never picked back up again um so i'm planning to uh, get back into the swing of things with youtube Please excuse my breathlessness, I've got a bit of a cold coming, so I'm a bit blocked. <laughs> um, so I'm having to do a lot of breathing through my mouth, um, which is why I sound so breathless, so I apologise for that. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to do a CML update for now, um, and then um, there's a few other bits and bobs that I'd like to do videos on. So first of all, it's just a quick CML update. Um... <laughs> postman's just been so the dog's having a nice bark um yeah so cml update um i have been bobbing around um at between 0.2 and 0.8 um as a pcr result uh, which is when they measure the amount of leukemia cells in your body um the goal after a year is to be under 1%, so I, I reached that target for a year, but then by 18 months, I think it is, they want you to be in major molecular response, MMR, uh, which is under 0.1, um, and I've never hit that. I've always, for the past sort of year, uh, stuck between 0.2 and 0.8, so, um, but my consultant's been quite happy with that, you know, it, it's, a stable result um, there's been no big increases um, I had a bone marrow biopsy done last May I want to say last April or May so my second bone marrow biopsy and that all came back with none of the Philadelphia chromosome in there or anything so he was pretty happy that things were going well so he was quite happy to keep me on the imatinib um, so I had my most recent appointment yesterday and I have hit MMR but only just. So MMR is 0 0.1 and under. I got 0 0.099. <laughs> so literally by the skin of my teeth have I gone into MMR, which my consultant has warned me, you may well come out of MMR again next time. Um, because my results tend to be between 0 0.2 and 0 0.8 so he thinks at the moment this is a bit of an anomaly but obviously we don't know that for sure so um, it was really good news at the appointment um, he was a little bit concerned about the side effects that I'm having um, and I'm still suffering from and then showing no signs of easing um, I'm going to do a separate video on side effects because um, it's quite an in-depth topic I guess so I don't really want to clog this video up with it too much but he did bat around the ideas of potentially changing drug the thing is I'm quite reluctant to do that at the moment because yes some of my side effects are a little bit life-changing in the fact that we have a wheelchair in the back of the car so that if we're doing really long like if we're doing days out even just a trip around the outlet village or something like that can sometimes be a bit too much for me um 
gives me really bad joint pain and um, then the next day I'm aching and I'm really tired. So we have a wheelchair in the car for days when I feel like it's a bit too much. And I've just accepted that as part and parcel, you know, I'd rather have to do that than not have these drugs to battle the CML. Um, but my consultant was quite sort of taken aback that it's got to that point that I need a wheelchair sometimes. Um, and he did suggest changing, like I could change drugs if I want to. Um, I'm a bit reluctant to do that because I kind of want to save drug changes for if imatinib stops being effective rather than the side effects. Um, if the side effects were crippling in the way that I couldn't do anything ever, then yeah, definitely it would change it. But being in a wheelchair, it's taken me a very long time to come around to, to the idea of being in a wheelchair. Um, but I kind of would rather that than waste, I don't know how to word it. I'd rather that than change drugs now when I could save a drug change for if I really did need it, for if I was developing a resistance to imatinib or something like that. Um, I don't know if that makes sense, but I kind of want to save drug changes for that particular reason because yes, there are five TKIs, but there are only five TKIs. There's not just an endless number of drugs that you can go through. Um, so I kind of feel like I just want to put up with occasionally needing to go in a wheelchair um, for the sake of the imatinib's working and whilst it continues to work as it should do, I'm just going to put up with it. So my consultant said to wait for my next appointment and we can readdress it because I also have um, a couple of other health issues that I'm going to see my GP about on Friday. So once I've had the conversation with him, I might do a video on um, those other health issues if we kind of get to the bottom of what's causing them. Um, but for now I'm just going to leave it at that because I don't know if it's related to the CML or not. Um, but one of the health concerns I have could be causing the joint pain more so than the drugs. So again, I don't really want to change drugs until I've ruled everything else out. Um, so yeah, um, a really good appointment um, in MMR for now. But I'm going to take that. I'm going to take it and I'm going to celebrate it <laughs> for the next three months until my next results. And you never know, it could be the start of another downward trend. Um myself and my consultant might be being too cautious but um but the likelihood is is it might hop back up so yeah i'm just going to take it for the next 3 months and just be happy that i've managed to hit it so yeah that is um everything cmr wise for now like i say i will do a side effects video but i'll probably do that once I've had my appointment with the GP because I don't want to label all these things that um, are happening as side effects if it could be some other health issue. So yeah, I'll save the side effects one until I've had the discussion with the doctor about the other things that are going on. Um, but yeah, I'm also on the generic imatinib now and have been for about six months and um, obviously I'm now in MMR so if anyone's got any concerns about the generic imatinib, I've noticed no change whatsoever in any of the side effects. Um, they've not got worse but obviously that, that's saying they haven't got better either. Um, but yeah, no change in side effects and obviously if anything my results are improving slightly so... If you're worried about the generics, please don't be worried um, because uh, all seems to be fine so far um, and I don't know from the CML community on Facebook that many people are having issues. There may be one or two that are having issues with the generics but on the whole I think people are tolerating them quite well. So yeah, uh, don't be concerned about those. 
Um, and that's it from me. This was supposed to be a short video and it's <laughs> 10 minutes or so now. <laughs> so I'm really sorry about that. And I'm really sorry about my voice as well. I'm hearing it as I'm talking to you. And I know I sound really nasally and croaky. So I'm really sorry about that. Um, but yes, I will check in with you again with a side effects video if that's applicable. Um, and just another update on the other health concerns I'm going to discuss with the doctor. So um, expect another video from me within the next week. And then other than that, it will be um, for my next CMR update. So, um, so, so sorry about the almost year wait for this video. <laughs> I'm sure it's not been worth the wait, but um, I did want to sort of get back into YouTubing again. So, um, yeah, I hope you've all been well in uh, my absence of not um, speaking to you guys for so long. Um, and... Yeah, I'd love to hear from anyone who wants to get in touch regarding CML or if you've read my bio or seen some of my earlier videos. I have PCOS and struggled with infertility, so if you want to get in touch with me about that, feel free to do that as well. Um, and yeah, that's it for now. So I've rambled long enough and I will talk to you all again soon. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.